We're chatting with Parker McCollum, who will be at the Menard County Fair in Petersburg Friday night, July 23rd. How you doing? I'm doing really good. It's as good right now as it's ever been. Looks like you're busy on the road, selling out shows, and yeah, it's just it's it really is as good as it's ever been. I mean, we're it just after a year of not doing it to be back to it this hard is ugh. So good. We're looking forward to the show Friday night, July 23rd at the Menard County Fair over in Petersburg. I got to say congratulations on the success of Pretty Hearts, which is my 11-year-old son's favorite song. Every time it comes on the radio, he sings along. So congratulations on the success of that. Oh, man, thanks so much. The new album is called Gold Chain Cowboy. It's coming out on July 30th. Tell us all about the new project. This is uh, did an EP last fall, Gold Chain Cowboy, first major label, full length LP, which is crazy to say out loud and think about. It's so cool, um, but I, I love this record, Josh. I think it's um, we worked really hard on it. We made it in a, a bit of an unconventional way through COVID and all that, and kind of recording a bunch at different times and something I'd never done before. But um, certainly glad we got to get out of the box and just kind of have fun with it and. Man, I've been writing my butt off for a long time and had a bunch of songs that I was ready to put out last year. And uh, so I'm just glad that they're getting to finally come out, and it's good right now. Let's talk about the name. Where did you come up with the name Gold Chain Cowboy? Where's that from? Man, that, that was something that kind of popped into my head a while ago, uh, about a year or two ago. And, and uh, we tried to kind of write a song around the idea and didn't really, never really could find anything. And the, just the phrase Gold Chain Cowboy kept coming back to my mind. And... Um, you know, with the more I thought about it and the more it seemed like it described me really well, you know, I mean, I, I think it's very important to be w- uh, well-mannered and carry yourself in the public eye very well and, and care about those kind of things and uh, really just the way I was raised. And But at the same time, no doubt I love to have, I like to flex on them a little bit, a little bit of style. If it's a gold chain or a gold watch or nice things, work hard and, and earn money to pay for nice things, right? And uh uh, something that I like a lot, too. So this seems like it describes that well. We're talking with Parker McCollum. He's live at the Menard County Fair in Petersburg, Friday night, July 23rd. Link up for tickets over at WFMB.com. Parker, things are going great career-wise and personally. Congratulations on your engagement to Hallie Ray. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, we She's very happy. I'm very happy. All The whole thing went off without a hitch, and uh, glad I can stop keeping a secret. (laughs) So tell us, how did the engagement go down, and were you kind of nervous to ask? Um, I was a little nervous. I was more anxious throughout the whole day than Mm -hmm. anything. Um, But it was, I mean, as soon as, I I don't remember what I said. She doesn't remember what I said. I think we were just kind of... There it was, you know, it's a big deal. So um, it went, it just, it went so well. That's about all I could ask for. Well, congratulations to you and Hallie. And you even have a song for Hallie Ray. Tell the fans about that and how they can check that out. Um, that's off my uh, EP, Hollywood Gold, that came out last fall. Um, titled the song is Hallie Ray Light. And uh, wrote that song for we were dating or anything. And, uh, some, and we ended up actually going to cut it is when I was like, man, this thing turned out rip, and we got to put this on the record. So um, now, she, now we're engaged. My fiance is kind of wild. Very cool. Congratulations to you and Hallie, and all the best to you. This is going to be a lot of fun. You're getting ready to hit the road with Dirk Spentley and Riley Green. It's the Beers on Me Tour. That's going to be one heck of a party with two great guys. Oh, and that's that's an easy decision. I told Dirk, I was like, man, you don't have to ask me if I want to do things like that. You can just <laughs> tell me I'm doing something like that. Um, that's going to be a blast getting to watch Dirk's every night, see how he goes about his business every night. Um, First hand is, is a treat in itself, so I'm real excited. It's the beers on me, too, or so I guess the beers are on Dirk's, or are they on you or Riley, or who, who's buying no, the beer? <laughs> Dirk's has to buy all the beers. I, already, I made sure that was clear. We're talking to Parker McCollum, Menard County Fair, on Friday night, July 23rd. Everybody is looking forward to this show. We've got the Josh Abbott Band opening things up. WFMB.com for all the ticket details. Tell us what all of us fans can expect from the show on the 23rd. Oh, it's uh, – man, We I tell you, Josh, we've been coming out swinging lately, it feels like. Uh, the energy on stage has just been so good, um, and uh, I expect it to be no different uh, on the 23rd. It'll just be – we got a big show coming, no doubt. And something the fans always like me to ask, what do you like to do in your free time, and what do you do to pass the time on the bus when you're traveling from show to show? Uh, in my free time, I don't know. There's not a lot of free time right now. Right. So, you know, it's full. It is all work right now, which is really, really good. 
Um, but on the bus, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like you got to sleep the most. And, and I don't like to be you're going down the road on the bus. I always try to make sure we get there by 7, 8 a.m. I'm always telling my tour manager, I'm like, man, let's leave, you know, as soon as we can so we can get there early and have the whole day in each city. Um, so if I'm on the bus, I'm probably sleeping. Anything you like to do? Any hobbies that you do in your free time when you're not out on the road, fishing? Uh, yes, sir. That was kind of the best thing through COVID is, you know, I've been touring a lot for the last three or four years. and um, but and So you really never have time to hunt. And uh, once deer season rolled around, I thought COVID was pretty good. I was like, man, we, we, we're on to something here. Yeah, you might miss that next year. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, I was at the, I was at the ranch every day, and I was like, man, I gotta go. Now it's just you gotta go work. That's what it is. You gotta go hustle. So, how the hunting work out for you? True story. True story. It's on YouTube. You can watch it. I uh, there's a hunting TV show filming us on this bow hunt and uh, hunting whitetail in Texas and um, out at the ranch. And it was at my buddy Hunter Redmond's ranch. And uh, I got the call at 5 a.m. from my manager when we woke up to go to the deer stand that Pretty Heart was number one on a Monday morning. And then uh, shot that deer I'd been after like 90 minutes later, right as the sun came up with my bow. It was a pretty good day. That'll be a day you never forget. Number one song and a huge deer. <laughs> yeah, that, that was. Uh, it's hard to string them, the good one together. That was a good one. Well, congratulations on all your success. We're looking forward to the show on Friday night, July 23rd at the Menard County Fair. It's Parker McCollum. Thanks for hanging out this afternoon, Parker. Hey, thanks so much, Josh. Thanks for taking my call.